We came to New Lanark on a cold, grey November morning, not knowing what to expect. Although I've lived in North Lanarkshire for over 10 years, I hadn't even heard of Robert Owen or the UNESCO World Heritage Site. To get to the secluded village in South Lanarkshire, you need to drive through Lanark and then walk down a steep slope on the side of the valley. This was carved out over thousands of years by the River Clyde, the same river that flows through Glasgow. I think the best way for you to understand what the ethos of New Lanark is and why it came about is by watching this short video from BBC Bite Size History. Seventeen ninety nine. The New Lanark Mills near Glasgow. Robert Owen was a factory owner in Victorian Scotland. He owned the New Lanark cotton mills on the River Clyde. At New Lanark, he decided to improve the quality of his workers' lives. Like the rest of Britain, making cotton was a huge industry in Scotland, and Owen thought that factory workers should have decent conditions. However, most other factory owners didn't share his opinion. Owen lived during the Industrial Revolution. This was a time when, across Europe and the Americas, new machines helped big businesses make more products like cotton. But Owen was appalled by the working conditions he witnessed. How old are those children? Surely they are too young to do this kind of work. Owen wrote a book about how much he disagreed with child labour and how badly the working classes were treated in Britain. It is normal for parents to send their children to work at seven years old, from six o'clock in the morning until eight o'clock at night. Children don't have time to relax. If we do nothing, the country will soon be plunged into a terrible state of danger. Owen created a factory, or model village, built with his workers' needs in mind. He built a school where children learned music and studied nature, and provided a shop where quality goods could be bought at a fair price. New Lanark even had the world's first infant school. And most importantly of all, workers no longer had to spend incredibly long hours in the factory. Visitors came from all over the world to see the amazing work Owen was doing at New Lanark. And during the rest of the Victorian era, the idea that everyone had the right to better working conditions grew to become accepted as the law. Now you know a bit about New Lanark, come with me as we explore the site for the first time. I have a separate paranormal video about Robert Owen's house. The link is in the video description. For most of the time here, I was engrossed in the architecture and the expert way the rooms had been recreated. As a child, I had visited other historic industrial mills, but there was never anything of this scale or with this much investment put into the workers' well-being.
again you can see that there's no signal of any kind. Take one of their leaflets for the Are you a child spirit? Right, we've come away from the loom and everything and I've not picked up anything. Let's stand in by the pulley and the rest of it. I've got these three and I've not had kick before to my knowledge. I'm just going to go around and start again. just vibrated. Come here. I'm going to come and look over here. I do think that woollen jumpers are warmer. Yeah. This was only picked up on that bit there. When I walked around to that exhibition bit, nothing happened. It's just vibrated really strongly in my hand. Like it keeps, it keeps vibrating if it can't make a word. behind me I was like he's standing there she's gonna go back over to the thing
did you work with these original machines? another dress that you like singing there's a high pitch there and it sounds like singing I can't hear that I can hear the low rumble and the occasional high pitch ding ding can you hear singing oh just as you said that it said his front and it hasn't said anything for about two minutes can you walk back to that big pulley with me because that's the only place I got kick and move and the other words it's amazing isn't it right where did you think you just walked to the area and i'll come with you obviously you're not on camera is this general area and see is this general area oh god it's just stopped mom it's never done that before mom look it's just crashed i've never had the app crash Okay, the app just crashed. I've never had it crash before. And it just said, can see, and then turned itself off. I'll have to check the footage back, but I don't think I touched anything. Is this general area? Can see. Is this general area? General area. Can see. Is this general area? General area. Can see. Is this general area? And even if I did, it would have exited out of it. It wouldn't have ended the app. Where do you think you can hear it? Here. Could it be the high pitch? No, I can hear the I can hear the I can hear the sound of the machinery. No, I can hear the tape. In case you missed it, that's somebody or something singing over the top of my mum's speaking voice. After the couple of visitors left, it was just us three in the whole room. That was a section I had stood at at the beginning and picked up words on Deadcom. Listen again. I didn't hear anything at the time. If you remember, I previously asked my mum if it could be noise from the machinery because I could hear a rhythmic high-pitched clink noise. Listen a couple more times. When we were standing here, Mum, when we were standing here is the only time I've got words and look what words just come up, lunch. Yeah, I was thinking about having lunch on the roof terrace. I've got one of those. No, I'm all right, babe. No, I'm saying I've got one of those. Yeah, and, I, and, and Mum said in case Kate wants one. Oh, right. 
Okay, maybe it is picking up from me, but um, I don't know why other stuff would have come up. I'm going to turn this off when we exit the room. Start what? Is there anything else you want to say before we exit? Because there's more people coming and I look like a fanny. That was made in England in 1929. I always think it looks like it's going to get your fingers. There is a land, you also can see the camera, there's no landscape. There's no landscape um, mode. I've put it on low key and it's getting much better colour. Oh, that's good. Even though it's not quite that good. Well source doesn't mean anything. That's us just walking out. Wells, I don't know what that's regarding, but then it suddenly said feel warmer and I was standing over there and then it just said angry leave. I've never had angry come up. Mood shy. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to leave this going till we go to the top right. because obviously there was this would have been a staircase originally, wouldn't it? And I, I had no prior knowledge about what the side of the I've used a similar thing unwittingly at Mardum. Maybe Joe should do that. Maybe Joe what? Yeah, I know. At home. At home, yeah. The only reason I wanted to do this down there was because obviously that was the floor with where the blooms and stuff would have been going. So I was thinking but when I stand in next to you mum I don't know if it's to do with a part of the machinery but it said kick I don't know what that was or well, if that was someone kicking me <laughs> This is what I was saying to Alex, because they do this in Sweden and Norway. How do they just have planks of wood? Oh, hello. Uh, hello. How do they just have planks of wood for the roof? They don't. The roof tiles are on top of the slopes. Oh, right. You put the planks over the cross beams, then nail backwards to the planks, and then hang the tiles on backwards. Like you would if it was after, on a back extension when it's on the side. It doesn't feel that you're that high up, does it? Because, you're, because when you're up here, you're forgetting how tall the building is, like you're on two story. Mm -hmm.
The New Lanark Mills depended on water power. A dam was constructed on the Clyde above New Lanark and water was drawn off the river to power the mill machinery. The water first travelled through a tunnel, then through an open channel called the Lade. It then went to a number of water wheels in each mill building. It was not until 1929 that the last water mill was replaced by a water turbine, and today water power is still used in New Lanark. As well as visiting the village and the mill buildings, you can take a dramatic walk along the steep banks of the River Clyde. The Falls of Clyde Wildlife Reserve is home to over a hundred species of birds, and you can even see bats feeding over the water in the evening. The dramatic rushing river is a feature in itself, and if you aren't visiting the buildings, you don't have to pay for entry into the nature reserve, you just pay for your car parking at the top of the hill. So, is it worth visiting New Lanark UNESCO World Heritage Site? Of course I'm going to say yes. I think that you should visit a couple of times. The first time may be paid to get the full experience. There is a lot to look around, so you might want to bring a packed lunch or eat at a cafe. There's also a lovely gift shop that sells yarn and items made at the mill. The second time, I would suggest choosing a walk around the free areas of the site and then make your way up the river to the Falls of Clyde. We didn't actually manage to get that far as we didn't have time before the light failed on us. Where we walked to was still just as dramatic and enchanting though. And what about the supposed paranormal activity? Well, I filmed this as part of my last use of Deadcom and as you saw, there were mixed results. The possible EVP of someone singing was picked up on the GoPro camera audio and by my mum. Neither my dad or I could hear it in the moment. There were some unique words coming up, but I don't really feel that they were as accurate as other places, such as Calendar House. I also realised that we were lucky to visit the village when there were hardly any other tourists. In the school holidays, it gets extremely busy. This would make it hard to conduct an investigation, and also you would not want to obstruct anyone's visit or cause a nuisance. However, did you know that there's also a hotel on the site? The hotel is in one of the mills, and there are also self-catering cottages that can be hired out. Maybe these would be better places to try and investigate over a more private session. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon in the next video, which is probably going to be mudlarking at Blackness Castle. Stay curious. Not much trailer today.